Every day, millions of species across our fair, watery planet struggle to survive against their environment, others, and even themselves. Most species survive to find another day, but for some, they meet their ultimate fate. In fact, 99% of all species that have ever existed have now succumbed to extinction. Extinction is generally considered to be the death of the final individual of a species. Extinction is actually a relatively new idea, born out of a 1796 lecture from Georges Cuvier. The widely held belief at the time was that no species had ever gone extinct. He convinced others that the fossils he was studying were not from living species like elephants, but from species like mammoths that are now far gone. This idea of extinction quickly gained traction and, along with others, eventually led to the formation of evolution and Darwin's On the Origin of Species. At its most basic, if a species cannot survive and reproduce, or move to a new environment where it can, then the species will eventually die out and become extinct. Just as each species is unique, write Beverly and Stephen C. Stearns, so is each extinction. The causes of each are varied, some subtle and complex, others obvious and simple. Some species can die out very quickly in a catastrophe like a flood or a forest fire. Others very slowly over thousands or even millions of years by causes like competition of resources or loss of an ecological niche. Sometimes the loss of one species leads to the extinction of others, causing a chain of extinction. For example, if a plant species loses its pollinator, it will soon die out, causing knock-on effects ascending at the trophic levels. Although, most food webs are fairly robust to change, and losing a single primary producer will usually only have minor effects. Another major cause of extinction is also extremely rare, with only five of these mass extinctions occurring over the Earth's entire 4.5 billion year history. These events are distinguished by the sheer loss of species, sometimes up to 90% of all species, over a relatively short time. The last major extinction happened 66 million years ago and wiped out the dinosaurs. This led to the rise of the mammals as the dominant large animal clade. Indicators now suggest that we are entering the sixth mass extinction, this one occurring mainly due to human activity. Humans have been responsible for the extinction of many species. Some of these extinctions were planned. Dangerous disease causing viruses like smallpox, rinderpest, and polio were eradicated through great effort. Most extinctions, however, were not planned. Current extinction rates are up to a thousand times higher than the historical background rate of extinctions. This is mainly due to habitat loss, invasive species, and the overexploitation of natural resources. Not all is lost, however. Through the advent of smartphones, more and more data is being collected to supplement databases and that better informs scientists and conservation policy. Citizen scientists will not only improve the effectiveness of conservation investments, but will also strengthen monitoring of change in species level biodiversity through time, says Peter Crane. Through new technologies like cloning, we can theoretically bring back species from extinction. The first successful taxon to become unextinct was the Pyrenean ibex. Seven minutes later, however, the species became extinct again after the kid died of lung defects. Conservation efforts are already underway, showing population rebounds in 5% of threatened species. Threatened species like the whooping crane, who recovered from a mere 21 individuals in the wild and two in captivity, to an estimated 437 in the wild and more than 165 in captivity. It's important for us to preserve our world's species. We all live in a global community and any loss of diversity affects us all. We need to work with nature, not at its expense. As Carl Sagan once said, extinction is the rule, survival is the exception.